What up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I go by the Lost Entrepreneur. Now, this week's video is going to be a little different because usually I'm at home. Usually I got my mic set up and usually uh, I'm just sitting in my chair. But right now I'm actually on my way out of town. So this week's video is just going to be a little discussion on your 9 to 5 job. How you can use it to your advantage and how you can actually uh, use it to apply to your business. So if you want to tune into this week's video, just wait until after this intro. Alright, check it out. Now listen, everybody that's starting off, if you're like me and you got a nine to five job and you're trying to balance your business and you're trying to balance your job, I'm going to let y'all know how to do this, all right? First off, nine to five job for me, the job I have benefits what I'm doing right now. Why? I can't really let y'all know that because I don't want to put my personal business out there, but it does have something to do with apparel. It does have something to do with retail and I am benefiting off the knowledge I am learning from them to apply into my own business. I have learned warehouse skills. I have learned uh, how to transfer a product from one part of the store to another side of the store without losing track of that product, which is very important for inventory control. So I know all that. I learned all that while getting paid for that. And not only that, I built my customer service skill up and I, I slowly was able to freely talk more and more and more throughout being exposed to a job like that where you have to deal with customers. But if you're not in the t-shirt business or you are or whatever business you're trying to do, my advice to you is find a job along the lines of that business and use them to learn from and get paid for it. Why not? So that makes a lot of sense, I think. Because if you don't be at a job and they're already paying you, why not try and maximize what they're giving you? Because they see you as a replacement. They can replace you, I can say. You are interchangeable in a business. A, a business like like Walmart, a business like 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 Target, uh, uh, I don't know what a. Uh, other big companies, Ikea, they have basically a program and Burger King and stuff, they have a core program to which each store basically follows. So as long as you put this person into this position and you tell them this is what they have to do, then that Burger King or that Walmart will run the way it's supposed to run as long as they follow the outline you gave them. Your business will not be like that. Your business will not grow. Your business will not succeed if you do not know your business because you are starting off your business and you don't have the core outline of how your business is supposed to run. So you need to basically create that outline, create that guideline, create that foundation for your business to be able to function without you present. So if you are able to learn these skills from your nine to five, once you do get into your business, it will be easier for you to transition and understand your program and create something so you can hire an employee once you do get to a certain growth and you can rely on them to do something for you without you being there. Another thing, 9 to 5 does, invest in yourself. Do not let that money go to waste. Use your money wisely. Don't waste your money on fast food. Don't waste your money on useless things you don't need. Use your money wisely. Create a budget. Use a plan. Figure out what you make and what you need to spend. Because that nine to five money can equal to your business. And it'll fund your business. 
I know I'm speaking nonsense because I ain't really got a guy line I'm going around. I'm just kind of talking. But listen. Also, if we get any more stimulus checks. That's how I started off. I'm using, my nine to five money's going to my bills, right? But I had used the stimulus to fund my t-shirt business. So now I have a heat press, now I have a cutter, now I have an Epson 2720. But, and I used t-shirt, I bought inventory and uh, products and stuff like that to try out. But it's just taking opportunities. There's certain opportunities that you have. Now also, another thing. Don't let that 9 to 5 stop you from expanding yourself. What I mean by that is when you get off of work, don't just sit there and watch TV or do something uh, that's not going to be productive. Excuse me. <coughs> Dab it. But like I was saying, just do something that... uh. Let, what I'm trying to say is, after working at 9 to 5, don't be too tired to continue to work on yourself because if you really want to get out of working a nine to five like everybody else like LeBron James in order to be the best player he had to work harder than everybody else in order to get out this this little uh, nine to five job and, and paycheck to paycheck thing you have to be willing to work for free so you have to be willing to to Invest in yourself after your job, after you are off the clock, and after you are not getting paid for this. Your business will not succeed if you are not putting in the work for it. And that's like, that's the truth right there. Because when I first started this, my effort was there, but I didn't know how much effort I actually needed for this. Like, I didn't know how to balance making a YouTube video, trying to start a t-shirt apparel business, and still working my nine to five, and trying to give my wife all the attention that she needs. This is a lot to balance, and definitely learning the skill of, uh, of uh, basically organizing your day, uh, planning your day, and scheduling your day. That's a real skill to have. And that's something you should build on. I don't know. I think that's about it, guys. I don't know what else to say on this t subject other than uh, keep your job. Not keep your job. I don't even know what I'm saying. Don't listen to me. One thing I forgot to mention, guys. If you're at this 9 to 5 job, try your hardest. Why? Not because you have to work your hardest for them. But the more you work and... Uh, the higher you get in that company is more money that is going into your business to free yourself from that lifestyle, if that makes sense. The harder you work, the higher you get in the company, the more money you make, the more money you can invest in yourself. That's basically all I'm saying. So at this job that I started off at, I started off at the bottom and now I am at a position to where I am comfortably making uh, a decent amount of money that I can actually survive on and invest in myself. It's not as much as I would like to invest in myself, but it is somewhere. And being at that point, I was not at a point there a couple years ago or a year ago or whatever. So just keep building on yourself. Use that nine to five to build yourself. Use it to invest in, in the proper and in proper investments. Like, if you're starting your business, you don't have to invest all your money into it. Do research and then invest. And don't do too much research and never invest. That's the key difference between a lot of people is too much research, not enough research. Some people just keep keep on researching. But if you don't get started, you ain't never going to know. But that 9 to 5 job is the reason or it can be the beginning of how you start. That paycheck that you make, that bonus you make, or whatever, or the skills you learn from that job will benefit you. So take it seriously. And what I mean is don't try and just get through the day. Actually try and do your job. Actually try and improve yourself. And actually try and 
get higher in that company to more invest in yourself. This is the whole plan. This is what everybody wants. So if you're watching this video, that's it for me. That's all I got to say on this 9 to 5 subject. And just keep investing in yourself and make sure you're using a job that will actually help you in the long run. All right? This is Lawrence Entrepreneur out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned.